Good afternoon, America and the rest of the world. Xander J. Hobson here. Stand-up comedian, entertainer, director, and producer of boxing documentaries and internet troll to those who need internet troll. This here is another episode of The Devil's Advocate brought to you by the Brilliant Artist Movement. We're trying to grow the channel. So subscribe, like this video, hate this video, share it. Leave a comment in the comment section. And it could be something nice. But I honestly hope that it's something nasty. Because I live for the people who leave the nasty comments in my comment section. So anyway, anyway, God was talking to St. Peter about going on vacation somewhere in this vast universe that uh, he created. St. Peter said, how about Corazon? God said, I don't feel like being bothered with Vader and Palpatine. What about Ask God? God said, I don't feel like Thor shit either. So finally, St. Peter said, well, man, there's always Earth. God said, ah, I'm definitely not going to Earth. St. Peter said, why you don't want to go to Earth? God said, I knocked up this Jewish broad down there 2,000 years ago, and they still talking about that. Well, the moral of this story is God, Jehovah, Yahweh, the big dude upstairs, he's the original Pookie and Ray Ray. He's the original Pookie and Ray Ray. And the crazy thing about it is, after he knocked Mary up, because Mary was creeping with God, God said, let that simp Joseph raise the kid. I don't even want him. That's the moral of the story. And the reason why I told that story, right? Because I'm always in this man of spirit space. And man, these guys in this man of spirit space is some humdingers. Because prior to coming into this man of spirit space, I don't even think I ever heard the term Pookie or Ray Ray. As it pertains to the kind of guys that these man of spirit people talk about. Where I come from, they call sorry motherfuckers. Not Pookie and Ray. They call them sorry motherfuckers. And um, I never heard the word simp. I heard the word simple, but I never heard the word simp. So I find all this stuff interesting. I find it humorous. And I use it for material. Point blank, period. But the crazy thing about it is a lot of these Manosphere guys, I listen to them. Listen to their content. And the root core of all of this venom that these gentlemen spill against women, it's a result of them being shot down by some chick, more than likely when they was a teenager or maybe a young adult, and being bested by some guy who was more on the ball than them. And I suspect in a lot of these cases, these guys weren't even Pookies and Ray Rays. Because when you talk about a Pookie and Ray Ray, you talk about sorry motherfuckers. I suspect that a lot of these guys weren't even sorry. And what I suspect even more is a lot of these guys that's on the internet ranting and raging about women they were cornballs. Cornballs. I hear the word cornball thrown around. But again, when I was coming up, I called them fucking nuts. Nut! You's a fucking nut! See, if you was a nut, that's equivalent to cornball. And guess what? Women have never, ever 
ever, ever, ever had any love for the cornball. Every so often you might run into a young lady who was sympathetic to the cornball and she might take him on after she'd have been through some trauma from the cool guys and the and the rotten guys. But at the end of the day, women really don't like cornballs because they don't respect you. Being a cornball is feminine. And women really don't like feminine men unless they just so beat down and tired that they say, oh, I'll take this motherfucker. He's been hanging around me for years, smelling my skirt. I'll take him. But at the end of the day, they really don't like cornballs. Now, somewhere in the various conversations that I've listened to or watched on YouTube, I heard folks say that when the girls were young, they wanted to, uh, they made poor choices. And uh, they like these rotten to the core as Negroes. Well, women have always been drawn to the bad guys. Like you take the story of the Immaculate Conception. Old Testament God. The Old Testament God. He was the original shit kicker. He used to send legions of angels to lay cities to waste. He flooded the earth for 40 days and 40 nights. He allowed his son to be killed on a cross and ain't lift a finger. He even impregnated a woman, a married woman, Mary. And he said, let that simp husband of yours, Joseph, raise the kid. Women have always been attracted to that type of guy, the outlaw, the outlaw. Women have always liked guys like that because he had an element of excitement and danger to him. And he operated outside the law and the rules. And women like guys like that. They find these type of guys masculine, macho. You know, I hear you guys talk a lot about uh, masculinity a lot. Well, again, we talked about being macho, doing macho. But my point is, you know, women were drawn to the masculinity in these outlaw type dudes. But let me tell you something else. It wasn't just the outlaw type guys that women like. Women like the cool guys. And cool guys were equivalent to the outlaw type dudes because the cool guys had their own brand of masculinity. And the thing was, it wasn't so much that the women was attracted to a guy because he was an outlaw or they was attracted to a guy because he was cool. What they were attracted to was the self-assurance that these particular guys had. See, that's what the women were attracted to, or the girls in a lot of these cases. But the girls turn into women. But that's what the females were attracted to. They were attracted to the confidence that these guys, who you fellas were calling Pookie and Ray Ray, they were attracted to that masculinity. See, because believe it or not, women, a woman wants to be fit, cooperative and feminine for a man. A woman wants to be that way. She wants to be that way for a man. But the thing is, a man, a man has to prove himself worthy of a woman submitting herself to him. Women submit to men all the time. See, this is why once I came in this space, I was blown away because I'm a guy that women submit to. I'm a guy that women submit to. And if I run across a woman who don't want to submit to my masculinity, fuck her. She gotta go. See that's the whole thing. A lot of a lot of a lot of these guys, they get tunnel vision. They focus in on one female in particular. And they forget that it's a whole world full of females. 
Because one of the things that I've learned in my 53 years of living is what one won't do, another one will do. But again, a lot of these guys are coming from a place of hurt. They take L's. They are, again, they're still upset with women who shot them down. And what a lot of these guys don't understand is in order to get to the chick that you want, you have to go through the chicks that don't want you. You got to play the numbers. So I'm going to say this and I'm going to get off of here with this. If you the kind of guy that's still mad at some female because she shot you down or some guy because he bested you for a female, lose that shit, man. Hatred for somebody else, being mad at somebody else, that does nothing for you. Because being mad or hating someone, that is like drinking poison and expecting the person that you are mad at or that you hate to die. I'm done with it.